Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a scale zoom transition onto a character's face. We're going to learn how to do it in under two minutes. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to search motion file. We're going to drag that onto the clip. We're going to go 150 by 150 and then we'll tick mirror edges. And then we're going to come back to layer up here, to new null object. And we're going to go to the middle, control shift D, delete the extra. And then we're going to parent the clip to the null. So the parent pick clip, click and drag it onto the null. And then we're going to go roughly to the middle of the clip. We'll hit S for scale. And then we'll keyframe and hit O. And then we're going to go 650. I'm going to highlight both keyframes. Hit F9. And then just drag this one to the middle. And then we'll leave it highlighted. We'll click on the graph editor. And then we're going to bring this one in. And then this one down. So about here. Let me just copy this one. And then we're going to go back to where we started with the scale. Hit P. And then we'll right click on position. Separate dimensions. Click the keyframes. Hit O the keyframes again and this time we're going to drag it over to where we can see the faces and just overshoot it a little bit from where you, you it would be and then we're going to highlight all the keyframes hit f9 bring it to the end here click the top one graph editor and drag this one over so slow in fast out we'll start to see a line up we'll hit the y position and the same thing we'll go slow in and then we're just going to line it up until it looks like it's in the middle of your screen and then you just have to keep adjusting the, the keyframe until you feel like it's perfect um, and then we're going to enable motion blur here and tick both the layers and then we should be good go back and it looks something like this um, if you want to see any more quick tutorials like that let me know and subscribe